On in Idaho right now, confusion between the state's top leaders. The state's Lieutenant Governor Janice McGeehan filed an executive order today that would ban any public entity from enacting a mask mandate. Governor Brad Little's spokesperson claims this all came as a surprise as he's out of town. Krem 2's Ian Smay live in the newsroom tonight with what we know about this situation. Ian? Yeah, good evening, guys. Janice McGeehan is acting as governor while Little meets with Republican governors in Nashville. He's scheduled to return later tonight. McGeehan said in a tweet this morning that she signed the order to protect the rights and liberties of individuals and businesses by prohibiting the state and its political subdivisions, including public schools, from imposing mask mandates in our state. She has been a staunch critic of mask mandates during the pandemic. And this has caught the Coeur d'Alene School District off guard. They currently have a mask mandate implemented at Lake City High School due to COVID-19 outbreaks. The district said in a statement this afternoon that it wasn't given advance notice of the executive order and is working with its legal team and Governor Little's office concerning their mask mandate. They also said there is currently no plans to change the mask rule at Lake City unless legal counsel or the school board changes that policy. That means that as of now, masks will still be required at Lake City High School tomorrow. It's important to note that Governor Brad Little has never implemented a statewide mask mandate. He instead left mandates to smaller levels of government, such as cities and health districts, and has said that wearing a mask is an individual decision. Now, there has been some confusion over how McGeehan was able to make this crucial decision without actually being the elected governor. While the Idaho State Constitution states that the lieutenant governor assumes the governor's role when he or she has a, quote, temporary absence from the state. With Governor Little out of town, McGeehan is able to do anything she would normally be able to do if she were the elected governor. Governor Little's office has released a statement about McGeehan's exec executive order. It reads in part, throughout the pandemic, Governor Little has been committed to protecting the health and safety of the people of Idaho and has emphasized the importance of Idahoans choosing to protect our neighbors and loved ones and keeping our economy and schools open. The governor's office will release a more detailed statement after reviewing the executive action closer. Now, this is the first time McGeehan has had the chance to act as governor since last June. And what makes this all the more interesting is that McGeehan has already announced that she will be running against Brad Little in the Republican primary when he is up for re-election in 2022. In the newsroom tonight, Ian Smay, Krem 2 News.